Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com, and I'm here with uh, the CyberClean. It's a high-tech cleaning compound. Yeah, it looks like some sort of goop, and uh, some company sent it to me, so I figured I would check it out because people are always asking me how to clean their keyboards and, and this and that, as if I'm some sort of cleaning specialist. But uh, it looks kind of strange, so I figured I would give it a shot, and uh, plus, I don't know if you follow our normal videos, but I'm shooting this with a different camera than I normally use. This is the, uh, I don't know what it is, it's the uh, HM300 from JVC. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, so uh, here's the compound. I want to do a quick look at it. It's... <laughs> It's reusable, as you can see from the top here, and so at maximum cleaning capacity, it is kind of neon yellow, neon green, something like that. That's what, at maximum cleaning, and then when it's dark, aka filthy, that is when you need to buy a new one. Uh, warning, keep away from children and pets, do not ingest, not too surprising there. Keep away from direct sunlight. Has uh, some pretty strange ingredients on there. Nothing overly pronounceable. Uh, this thing, I don't know. I almost don't want to touch it. But uh, I'm going to guess it's safe. And I have a pretty filthy keyboard. I let it get kind of dirty. Especially for this test. So, here goes. Let me I'll zoom back out. I'm not wearing any sort of gloves, even though I feel like I should. So uh, it's totally like that junk that you buy at a supermarket at the can you know the fifty cent and it pops out of the vending machine. It's like a goop. It feels a little bit wet. I'm kind of feeling a little bit of residue on my hands, but it's not as bad as I thought. It's stretchy. It doesn't really combine if I put it together. But, uh, yeah. And uh, according to this, you just slap it down on your keyboard or whatever you're trying to clean. Press and pull, so. Notice I'm using the number pad. I'm not gonna use the normal numeric keys, uh, normal uh, letter keys until I know that this thing is not gonna ruin anything. It kind of smells like uh, it's got a, like a citrusy type scent to it. So this itself doesn't look that dirty. You know, there's some dust and... Uh, you know, hair and all that other stuff that gets caught in your keyboard, but it still is pretty clean. And now let's look at the results. Pretty lackluster, to be honest. It picked up the, uh, you know, any of the chunks, but the, the keys are still pretty dirty. Even this area, still dirty. I, uh, I'm not impressed. And now my hands smell kind of like, uh, I don't know, Play-Doh or whatever, and they kind of feel like I want to wash them. So you see there's, uh, let's zoom out a little bit, there's the before section right here, and after. Before. After. 
before, after. So, better? Yes. Worth? However much this thing probably costs? I'm going to go with no. Uh, I guess it is possible that this keyboard was just too filthy for the high-tech clean compound, but I feel like this is exactly what you'd use it for. So, yeah, I'm going to skip this. You know, just use what you normally use, Windex and a rag or, or whatever. Simple green, etc. This is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. Thanks for watching.